we'll have a small five minute discussion on this point that why should we chant early in the morning obviously chanting has immense benefit all throughout the day it has unlimited benefit all throughout the day but uh, we will just try to discuss a little bit on this point that why should we chant early in the morning very nice quotation by the devotee who has made these slides every day may not be good but there is something good in every day so actually we can start very nicely uh, for the day if we can chant Hare Krishna in the morning hours let's see what are the other things in the slides morning hours are helpful for concentration because of the mood of goodness prevailing it's a very important point you see every day you check your consciousness if you wake up early in the morning especially in the Brahmahut hours this mood of goodness is there and you naturally like to meditate all throughout the 24 hours different modes of nature are prevailing so especially in the early morning hours mode of goodness are there which helps you to actually focus meditate on anything basically but best is uh, obviously chanting Hare Krishna so this is first first point why we should uh, use or utilize the morning hours for that and you must have noticed also as soon as like around like nine o'clock or eight 8.30 or even as soon actually as the sun rises, immediately so many plans begin to come in our heart and we begin to feel a little uncomfortable to sit and meditate. We actually want to move around. That is the nature of mode of goodness which is controlled by sun as soon as the sun rises. So this way is very important. Now what else? Anything we wish to do regularly should be put in morning schedule. This is a very nice siksha which has been given to me by my friend actually. Uh, Sudama Prabhu and you would have noticed that suppose if you want to chant Bhagavad Gita one chapter only Sanskrit it just takes five minutes but somehow if you uh, just postpone it for the day you can't take out that five minutes I've heard devotees who leave their rounds till night sometimes they forget to chant that one round that, that one round they tend to forget see how the material energy becomes very powerful so this is how we, is there any anything you want to do regularly you want to do yoga you want to do studies anything if you put in a morning schedule it comes very easily i hope mataji's may uh, kind of uh, agree with me that if you cook in the morning it is very pleasurable not that much in the afternoon maybe i am wrong but it is my experience here sometimes i used to cook khichdi in devotee kitchen it was a nice experience to cook in the morning but afternoon you don't feel like doing the same thing is it not Anything, Burjan Prabhu told me, anything you do, not only chanting, anything you do in the morning is good, feels good. So, so, so if you want to maintain your vows nicely, it is good that we chant in the morning. Very, very instructive point. Next one. Oh, this one is good. Just like we charge our phone to use all day, so we need to charge our consciousness to meet, meet various challenges every day. It should be every day, not very day, every day. Now, this is very interesting. We don't have control over what is going to come upon us during the day. This you should always remember. Somebody may chastise you unknowingly, uselessly. You know, we may have a court case. Or, and anything can happen during the day. So if you chant 16 rounds nicely, you will be proactive. You won't be reactive to those situations. Actually, it, it works. Because you have situated your consciousness in goodness in the morning, that kind of carries you all throughout the day. Same situations, people may misbehave with you and do other things, but still you remain poised, I would say. So this is very important. We are, every day, we are very, very, how to say, eager to charge our phones so that we can use that phone all throughout the day. So charge your consciousness with the holy name so that you can actually deal with the day properly. Next one. Life becomes easier by the grace of holy name if we satisfy the Supreme Lord by this yajna. This is not only a motivational point, this is actually tathya, this is actual fact. The Lord has spoken in Bhagavad Gita, Devan bhavayata nena te deva bhavayantu vaha parasparam bhavayantu shreya param abhapsataha. The demigods being pleased by the yajna performance, they will provide with you with all material necessities you will see in your own life. How by chanting Hare Krishna, actually if you complete your vow, this is the highest yajna which has been explained by Lord Krishna himself. Yajnanam japa yajnasmi among the all among all the sacrifices best sacrifice is japa so krishna is pleased the demigods are pleased and you will see miraculously your services or your, even your other challenges 
by Krishna's grace they become easy and that has been told by Krishna himself mat chittah sarv durgani mat prasada tarishyasi if you fix your mind on me then by my mercy you will cross over all obstacles and you will see in your life although it will not follow your logic we and then how what are the things we have to do to wake up we need to sleep earlier to wake up earlier it's very simple point but if you sleep at 11 pm or whatever 12 then you may still wake up but then the freshness which you might feel for morning program will not be there so we have to that common sense has to be there and for that also for that matter one must not eat very heavy in the night actually best is to have your dinner at 5 pm last class and don't eat, eat anything in the night just um, drink some milk hot milk and then you take rest that way you will actually feel uh, the food gets digested and you feel very fresh when you wake up in the morning okay maybe i am not going that fast our japa should get completed far away from when our services start so they see there can be so many services <laughs> taking care of kids and if possible if it is finished then it is very good why why because then otherwise you will think my japa is coming in between my services it's an obstacle to my services which is not a fact it gives you the strength to do your services but if our services are very close to our japa then japa will say you say hari krishna hari krishna ram hari krishna ram hari krishna ram let and finish and then go for your services so your choice but that's not actually japa is meant to be it's our interview with shri radha and krishna so we should have at least let's say half an hour or one hour before if our services are started starting then we can finish our 16 rounds that will be very good for us I know all the instructions may not be applicable, but if you follow them, it will help you to whatever extent you can do. This is nice. Lord Brahma also meditates every morning and then creates. Every morning he has to do srishti, and he actually meditates on Lord. By that he gets the potency to create, and then he does. And see, by the grace of the Supreme Lord, he does such a wonderful service. So you see, he is the biggest manager of this whole universe. So you must remember, you are none of us are equal to Brahma. Is it not for creation? so like that so this is very good example set by lord brahma himself okay this is an interesting point you are not in any ashram in the morning this is quite interesting if somebody is sleeping any mata ji is sleeping so when she is sleeping she is no one's mother she is no one's uh, daughter she is no one's sister anyone she is not in any ashram same thing with prabhu ji so if that time let's say suppose i am sleeping till 6 am then 4 to 6 i am sleeping i am not in any ashram so if you actually wake up earlier then at that time everybody is asleep in your home and you can chant peacefully as if you are not as if directly connecting to krishna krishna this time is for you this is very good so this is very nice morning is the best time to hold spiritual services shila prabhupada purport 1.1.5 shrimad bhagavatam there is no other for further evidence prabhupada himself says we have no control over what will happen during the day is it not this is very very true sometimes although i try to finish my japa much before but sometimes some devotee has chastised me at 4:25 am and then my japa was very nice you know you can understand <laughs> japa is very nice after you get chastised so don't wait for the day to attack upon you is it not is quite possible you go to the boss and the boss is most most bad to you or even the husband or the wife or whatever so before anything goes bad which is quite possible uh, which is right possible right now <laughs> so uh, you complete your round so that you are prepared to face the greatest adversities and then this is interesting the bad news will still be there after japa so you can check your emails or whatever after you finish your japa if if, if something bad has to come it will be known to you anyhow so first complete your japa and then you can tolerate those bad news also i hope you are getting the point the end oh this is was not that long so i hope it might convince you to chant early in the morning hours and you know, and that way you remain enthused for your services hare krishna thank you